Thomas Paine says to those colonists, you are cowards, you are spineless, suck up, sycophants. So today's class is either focused on Thomas Paine's Common Sense in its entirety, if I didn't see you yesterday, and if you want to hear more about that, I'll link to yesterday's video right up here. But other than that, we took a look especially at that third excerpt, the one that was focusing on the cowardly colonists. Those colonists who had suffered under the tyranny of the British, and yet at the end of the day, we're going to go and say, you know what, let's just stop this fighting and reconcile our differences. It will be just fine. And to those colonists who would shake the hands of the British who had tyrannized them, Thomas Paine says to those colonists, you are cowards, you are spineless suck up sycophants, and you, absolute worst kind of colonist there is. How could you? And I will reiterate again, the main idea here with Thomas Paine is that in January 1776, it is not a certainty whether this is a battle and fight for the rights of British subjects with Great Britain that will cease and reconcile their differences or whether or not this is going to be a fight for American independence. And for the entire year of 1775, following the April 19th Battle of Lexington and Concord, all the way through January of 1776, when Thomas Paine authors Common Sense, the prevailing opinion, as well as the prevailing opinion in the Continental Congress, was that of they were British subjects fighting for their rights as British subjects. But in seven months following the publication of Thomas Paine's Common Sense, July 4th, 1776, public opinion and the opinions of those in the Continental Congress are going to shift and alter to the point seeing that it is common sense. America will be, should be, and ought to be free. It is common sense that an island cannot rule over a continent. So that's what we looked at today. We looked at, again, Thomas Paine's common sense. Tomorrow we are going to be taking a look at everything we have done so far on the American Revolution. So come prepared to recall and think all the way back to the French and Indian War and all the way up through the Declaration of Independence. And it is going to be up to you to put together a solid timeline of events of the American Revolution. So I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow in class. Hope you had a wonderful Tuesday. Thank you to my lunchtime artist who put together uh, the awesome backdrop for today. Thank you, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful Tuesday evening. Mr. Stevenson, out.